Hi everybody and welcome to my class. This is a short one that's just about blending. Um, I am not going to paint anything else. I'm just going to kind of go over the steps on how to properly blend with your brushes and so you can pretty much do any background you want with any color. Um, one of the first things I want to go over is paint. A lot of people ask me do I need to buy expensive paint and the answer is no. I get all of my paint from Walmart and Walmart seems to be a lot cheaper. I use apple barrel paint. It looks like looks like this. Um, for a big tube like this is two dollars and fifty cents and for a little one like this it's usually about a dollar. So um, I'm just going to go over how to blend. Now for this one, I don't, um, actually for any of them, I actually do never use an easel. I always paint on my table. I find it very weird and awkward for myself to paint upwards. So I like painting on a table. I'm guessing it's because I started off as a, a pencil drawer and I just got used to doing it on the table. Um, and for an easel, you will have a lot of trouble doing this technique. I'm, sh um, there, I'm sure there's other ways to do it, uh, but for this technique specifically, um, it is perfect for keeping it um, on the table. So one of the biggest things is a lot of people will paint with way too much paint. That is the biggest mistake that everybody always makes. I sometimes make the mistake, so, and if you make the mistake, don't worry. Wait a little bit. Um, wait until it is fully dry and then go back because a lot of times when you add too much paint um, it will blend into other things and you'll have you'll have a problem for blending specifically you want to have enough paint where it's wet but not goopy um, so if like I said, if you if you do add too much paint and you want to keep going and it's uh, taking forever to dry, one of the techniques or air tips that I usually use is put it by a fan or use a hair dryer. That usually helps, um, or just put it to the side and, and walk away for a minute. Use the bathroom and then, and then come back. Um, so for this one specifically, I'm wanting to have it a little wet, so it blends all the colors. Um, and then go from there. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to do a sky just so you can kind of see what it looks like and we're going to have it start up with blue and white and then we're going to turn it into purple like if it was a um, uh, like a, almost a sunset or you know just about to turn very dark. So I'm going to grab my blue. I'm going to grab my purple and I'm going to grab a little bit of white. Okay so for for this part, and you could use any colors you want. If you want to have a, a sunset with red, orange, and yellow, if you wanted to do a purple and pink sunset, you can use any color. It does not matter. The technique is the same. So um, for a background, you always want to have a bigger paintbrush. Like a little bit of water. you want to use a bigger paintbrush. And a lot of times I use a bigger one like this just to make it a, a little bit easier on myself. Also, when you are painting and doing this technique, you always want to put paper towels in the background because you probably will be getting some paint on your table. So I'm going to put paper towels behind me. Okay. Um, also, the other thing, and I always make this mistake as well, especially when we are doing a canvas that is on stretched canvas and not panel, you always want to make sure that you paint on the sides because it is, in my opinion, in my experience, it's a lot harder to paint the sides of it afterwards and line up the colors. So always remember to do your sides, even when it's a panel like this where it's thin, I'll try to get that because um, you never know what's going to show later. You always want to cover everything. And the nice thing about stretch canvas is if you do and you paint the sides, you don't have to frame it. You can hang it right on the wall from there. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with, um, I'm going to put a little bit of white on the top, then I'm going to put blue, and then I'm going to put purple. So what I usually do is I will take white paint and I'm going to pour a tiny bit, a tiny line right across the top like that. 
Then I'm gonna take blue and I'm gonna do the same thing. Have it kind of close. Then I'm gonna put a little bit more blue right here. And I'm gonna line up a little bit of purple. And then I'm gonna have purple right along here, just like that. Now, what I usually do is I will start off at the top where it's lighter and I'm gonna work my way to the bottom. And I always go from side to side. So I'm gonna put the white. And don't worry, it's not gonna stay white because when you go back up, you're gonna start pulling that blue with it. And you're gonna put the blue and have a little fun with it. If you want to go straight from side to side, if you want to, um, you know, kind of curve it a little bit, you can. So now I'm going to go up a little bit. And you see how that um, blue is starting to get lighter on top because it's mixing with the white? That's exactly what you want. You want those colors to blend naturally by going back and forth. And you see how I pull it down? Now I'm gonna go straight to the top. And because you're getting farther away and you have less paint and mixing with the white, it's gonna get lighter. That's exactly how we want to blend. Now you, you don't wanna have lines where it goes from one color to the next. So like right here, you can see that it's a light compared to dark. So I'm going to focus on this area and I'm gonna keep pulling it. And you see how it's starting to go away? That's how you blend without having the lines. You just wanna keep going back and forth until that line goes away. Now I'm gonna to go to the second part and I'm gonna mix these two together. Make sure you go from side to side. And you see those colors mix and I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna go down a little bit. And I'm gonna keep going. And I might just go up a little bit higher. Let me see how it started to blend a little bit. It's a little hard to see with that light. There we go. And then I'm gonna get the purple. Now, a lot of people always get very rigid when it comes to painting. They're always afraid that they're gonna mess up and they kind of freak themselves out. Don't do that. Painting is very simple. Anybody can do it. Even if you say that you can't draw stick figures, you can do it. Don't worry. Just try it. And if you mess up, you could always add more paint later or fix it completely after it's sun drying. Now, usually when you have a white background or something like this, um, the white background might come through. I'm not sure if you can see that there is like white streaks almost in the back, especially in the darker parts. That's okay because if you do let it fully dry, you can go over it and do the same technique again. And especially if you didn't like the color initially, this is a good time um, to, to change it later. It's almost like your practice. And then you can kind of see that my paintbrush started pulling that purple up a little bit and it almost brought it all the way to the top. Blending is that simple. Now it does take practice over time so if you don't get it right the first time don't worry practice makes perfect and you don't always have to keep going with different canvases. If you want you could always if I draw if I absolutely hated this and I did not know what to do with it wait for it to fully dry and then put a paint of white on a, a layer of paint of white on it. Then let, let it dry and do it again. After two or three layers of the white paint, it's like almost like brand new again. And you can use it again. So don't throw out your canvas because it could be very expensive. Just leave it. But you can see it blends perfectly. And if I wanted to blend it a little bit more, I can. And like I said, you can use any color. It's that easy. So don't psych yourself out. You can do it. I promise. All right, everybody, that is my class on how to blend, and I hope you were able to learn something. Thanks.